Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Fantasy Grounds from the Ground Up. That sounds really weird. From the ground, grounds to the ground up, whatever. Uh, so in the last episode, we started creating our FTGU uh, character here. Um, and we talked, I think, about everything on this page. If any of you, oh, actually, we didn't that's okay um, there's this little speech bubble I didn't mention which is speak as PC if I click on that now you'll see it says FTGU I think this might mostly be just for GMs because now if I hit enter here you'll see it says FTGU is talking and then if I do it here it says I'm talking so now we've covered everything on this page um, and I think we did a pretty good job if you have any questions Feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can you know find me on my discord and ask me there whatever you like so we're gonna move on to the skills tab so we learned that by selecting our class and our background we got a set of skills and you'll notice that um, the skills here have these little yellow stars these means they're proficient which means they get to add this proficiency bonus. Everything else just gets this raw little modifier added to them. So we have a lot of low ones if you look at it. Negative one, negative one, negative one. We have a plus six. That's because insight is going to be, uh, our wisdom is plus four plus the proficiency. So it's plus six. If you ever want to know what one of these things are, you can always click on the eye. So let's say, I'm like, what exactly is this Arcana or Kana or Kana, whatever. Uh, you can see it uses your, your intelligence. Uh, there's no bonuses or any, like if I had something that gives a bonus to my athletics or whatever, that could go in here. So if I said, oh, I have a ring of Arcana, you'll see that will change it to a plus one. Now, one really nice thing about fantasy grounds is for example you might have a proficiency in let's go look at our proficiencies light armor medium armor shields weapons all simple weapons all right well that's not what i was thinking but let's say for example with a rogue a rogue has something called thieves tools that is a item that they get and they get proficiency in thieves tools well, what you would do then is you would take your dex, which is probably what you'd use for, or no, not your deck. Yeah, your dex for, for, you know, the thieves tools themselves. And you would um, add your proficiency to that. So you would say, okay, my dex is plus three, plus two, so it's plus five. And then I would say, okay, I get a plus five, I'm rolling a d20, and this is for thieves tools. Well, with Fantasy Ground, you actually have the option to make some of your own. So you can actually click on edit list down here. And now, excuse me, you'll see that there's a plus up here. If I click on that, I have a brand new one. And what I can do is I can say T-H-I-E-V-E-S-T-O-O. -O. Okay, I hit caps lock. <laughs> T O O L S. So I could say t thieves tools here. I'm I'm definitely proficient in them. Um, then this uses uh, our. Whoops, I passed it. This uses our decks, right? So now you see it's plus five, and there's nothing else. So what's kind of nice about this is now if I'm in game and I want to use these tools instead of me having to go and say okay so I need to I get my dex which is plus th uh, three I get my provisions plus five uh, plus four or two I mean so if I roll a die here I go like that oh it's a is that a one did I actually nope it's a seven so that means I get eight nine ten eleven twelve so I got a twelve and you'll see that if I'm looking back, if I ever have to go back here and look at things, I'm like, I don't know what those were. I know what these are. Death critical failure, death crit failure set to dying, dying two, so on and so forth. Well, if I have this now, if I roll this by clicking on, I can either double click this, like I show. Is it single or double? It's double, because I just singled. 
I can drag that dice here and you'll actually see here that it's saying do, do I have to click off that I think why is that still got the line there here let's do this maybe Whoop. hello click off if we hit enter it'll create a new one I believe there we go let's see if that works I always I thought it actually said these tools now it's turning me into a liar Ooh, there we go oh there it goes so now you can see it says skill thieves tools mod is the dex proficient I'm proficient in it so it knows wow I got a 20 so I got 25 so it's kind of nice because then you can actually let's just get rid of this guy you can actually go in and say you know these are additional skills that my class has and then you can add them in here and then you know if I'm looking I'm like oh did they pass what was that thieves tools one and I could see here that FTGU rolled these tools got a 20 plus their modifiers which is 5 so it's 25 so you can actually add these things in there whatever you know like um, I know there's like a, I think it's called a healing kit or something like that that maybe your cleric is uh, proficient with um, so you could do that so really kind of cool that you can do that and then of course there's always the little eye at the end I noticed there was even an eye at the end when we did our thieves tools so what you could do actually I guess might as well throw it back in there real quick uh, let's do t-h-i-e-v-e-s t-o-o-l-s and we'll go ahead and if I change that does that unselect it no let's just hit enter just to get rid of it and then we'll get rid of that one there's probably a better way to do that uh, so this is dex and we're proficient in it so you'll notice here that it actually does have an eye and it doesn't say anything however it has this little lock and I can actually edit the text so I could say uh, this is lock uh, picks and such maybe like a, a like a stethoscope type of thing for listening to not in Dungeons and Dragons you won't have a stethoscope for listening to a safe or something but then once I've got that how I want it I can lock it and then uh, if I roll that hopefully this will work this time don't don't turn me in a liar there we go and then if I'm like, oh wait, what was that again? I can always click on that and then I can see what it was. I can unlock it, change the name uh, and things along those lines. So really kind of handy. But like I said, uh, Cleric really doesn't have efficiency in thieves tools. So that's kind of this uh, at a real nutshell. Um, oh, actually, no, there's a couple other things. Um, rogues, for example, get something called expertise and like if a rogue has say stealth as one of their things you'll notice that you know that's using dex so that's using our proficiency so we're actually getting five but rogues get some called expertise which gives them double proficiency so that means we would take our plus three here and we would add four to it because we add two for our proficiency which is five we had two more, so it's double proficiency, so we have stars, and it goes to seven. I've never seen half proficiency, to tell you the truth. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I've never seen a class that has half proficiency, which would take your proficiency bonus, which is two, and subtract one from it, because it's half of it, and we'd get four. So it makes sense how you get it, but... Uh, it um, yeah I've, I've never seen it used okay so that pretty much covers us in the skills and how you can create your own and stuff like that the next thing is your abilities now this is a really cool thing in here um, there's some really cool stuff so remember how I said we get two of our choice because of our background so we are because of us being an elf we know elvish and we know common uh, however we get two of our choice for the other one which means we probably want to add one more language down here because we get two so there's one and two now to know what languages are available you can come into the options which is the cog up here 
and then you can click languages and here you can see the different languages so let's say we want to speak um let's say goblin because we maybe growing up we uh came across lots of goblins now it's important you actually spell it the same that it's spelled here and the case and everything and then maybe for our second language let's maybe do draconic's always a fun one so that's the dragon speak so we could so d-r-a-c-o-n-i-c is that right d-r-a-c-o-n-i-c Perfect, and then we can turn that back off and now we have our languages and we can close this and close this. So um, now what we can do is because we understand common, we understand Elvish, we understand Goblin, and we understand Draconic, if someone speaks one of these languages or the, we run into an NPC that the DM is using that speaks one of these languages, we will be able to understand when they're chatting where the rest of our party if they don't have it won't so down here in this chat window you'll see it says chat there's this line right here now because I am the GM it's gonna show me every language however if I were just a player in this I would only see these four languages in there and let's say uh, we came up and we some dragon says this to us hey <laughs> what you up to everyone in the party will see this however i will see this right here i'll see the translation so everyone else will see this gibberish and they won't really know what the heck that is and i'll be able to understand them uh and vice versa, you know, if it's a language I don't know, I won't see, I'll see gibberish here or symbols or whatever. And those that can see it will actually have this little spot that says translation. So it makes it really cool. And I, I think it kind of adds depth to the game because the DM or GM, GM in this case, can actually say, and this is what the dude says. They can type it out in chat everyone can see the symbols and stuff but only those that understand it can see what it actually means <clears throat> so um, that's that's the languages section and we can go back to just regular which everyone can understand that so if someone was for example a someone from the deep dark they would speak deep speech but they would not understand common. So hopefully that makes sense. So the next thing we're looking at here is you can see you get the bonus proficiency life. I don't know what that is, so we can click on it. When you choose this domain at first level, you gain proficiency with heavy armor. So down here, do we say heavy armor? It doesn't look like it. So this is one of those things where you might have to actually modify it and You'll want to write it basically like the other ones. So you'd want to say H-E-A-V-Y-A-R-M-O-R. -E Oops, O, A, M, O, A, M, A, R, wow, I cannot spell. A, R, M, O, R. Is that right? A, R, M, O, R. I have too many R's. R, R, M, O, R. So um, we can add that in there. We can do all simple weapons, it looks like. Uh, this is stuff we have from our, our trait. This is probably what gives us some of our weapons, all simple weapons. You have proficiency with the long sword, short sword, short bow, and long bow. So I believe those are, is long sword actually? I can't remember. Uh, we can see what our face ancestry, we already talked about that one earlier. I think it was in the last episode. Uh, keen senses, we can see we have proficiency in perception. That's why the perception actually had one now, uh, because of our keen senses. Mask of the Wild means we can attempt to hide even when we're only lightly obscured by foliage, heavy rain, falling snow, mist, and other natural phenomena. So um, 
This probably would mean you get advantage when you're trying to hide. So when you're trying to stealth, um, let's see, do, do, do. Uh, then trance elves don't sleep. They actually meditate. So what normally takes eight hours, they can do in four hours. So they basically get the benefits of a long rest in four hours instead of eight. Uh, let's see. So we will be coming back to this page because we're going to use it when we get into the spells. So let's jump into inventory. So inventory, here's another spot where you can look and see what type of monetary stuff under here, under the cog, which is options. You can go to currencies and then you can see we have PP for platinum pieces, GP for gold pieces, EP for electron pieces, SP for silver and CP for copper. And then if you put these things in here, for example, CP, SP, EP, GP, and PP, it will automatically uh, know what those values are because they're programmed into the, the game itself. So let's go and talk about equipment real quick. So if we go look at, should we do, let's do um, our Alakite stuff first. So here you can see we get uh, equipment. So we get a holy symbol, which is a gift when you entered the priesthood. So we can come into items, which is behind one of these other dudes. So let's go ahead and do, where is the, where's the bar to change? There it is. We do that. There we go. So if we go to items, which is right here. We can actually type in probably holy. Holy symbol. A oh, website didn't mean all. I meant uh, enter. And let's see if there's a holy symbol. Holy Avenger, holy aura. There's lots of. Uh, let's go back to Alakai real quick. Let maybe do symbol. Uh, S Y M B O L. So if it doesn't find something, so here's scroll a symbol, which is nothing really special. What you can do once again, you can actually add in an item, and we could say holy symbol. What should we say our holy symbol is? Maybe. Let's say it is a necklace with an emerald in it. N-E-C-K-L-A-C -E necklace with E-M-E-R-A-L-D emerald jewel. Okay, so we'll call that our holy symbol. Let's just say uh, it weighs maybe half a pound. Whoops, did I not type that? Uh, let's do 0.5. Oh, 5 0. No, not point zero five oh. Uh, five oh. Ah, five five will work. <laughs> Fine. So um, now that we have that and we click off, now you can see our current weight that we're carrying is 0.55. Our maximum that we can carry is 135. We can lift, push, pull, drag up to 270 pounds, right? So here we have our little holy symbol and we could, let's do this. Let's add another thing and we're just going to call it neck, actually on person, on P-E-R-S-O-N, so on person. And then what we can do is take this, do a C and then up on location here we can say on person. Uh, I guess that doesn't have the paste there. We'll just hit Control V, and then if we click off of it, you'll see now it has on person, and then it actually tabs in, and it says we have that. So now if we have uh, other things that we have, like a crown or something like that, we can say that we have it on us. Now, one other thing we can do. Oh, that's I didn't know that one. That one's pretty cool. So you'll notice here that this says it's carried. This means it's 
on it's on you in your backpack or on you or it's with you and therefore it is being used against your current weight that you can lift or carry if you click this you'll see it turns to equipped this is mostly for weapons I don't think it'll actually do anything with uh, with uh, items like this uh, and then there is nothing this one's kind of handy because sometimes you might say well yeah I have a hundred pound you know uh, mace or I don't know maybe a 50 pound mace but I don't I'm not carrying it on me it's back at the hotel or at the inn so you could actually uncheck this and now you can see it's not working or counting against what you're what you can actually carry so let's go ahead and continue this so we have that we have a prayer book so maybe we could find a prayer uh, a book let's look for a book all right there's a book we can actually call it a prayer book since they don't have a book so we just simply drag it on um, we're going to do something special with that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this guy for the moment. Uh, so we're going to put this in our backpack when we get it, but we actually want to call it a prayer book. So it's a prayer book. So you can modify these. Uh, if you have more than one necklace, you can change the quantity. Um, this is the way. And then of course, this will give you the information. This says that this book is weighs five pounds, I guess. It's a pretty heavy book, I guess. Uh, it costs 25 gold. It's a standard thing. It's an adventuring gear is the category it's in and such. So you can get information like that. Uh, let's see, what else do we get? Or a prayer wheel, I didn't want that. Let's see if we can do incense. I don't know if that'll pull up. I-N-C-E-N-S-E, uh, -E, right? There we go. We got a block of incense. We don't have a block of it. We have sticks. So we're going to go ahead and drag that over and we're going to modify it. As you can see, even that, it's just uh, uh, a really light thing. So we're going to go ahead and do this and say incense, maybe sticks. S T I C K S. And we have five of them. So now you'll notice this says 0.3. This will actually apply automatically down here to, oh, I guess it already did, to know that that's 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0.3, 0.03, yeah. So we're at 5.7. All right, what else have we got? We've got vestments. V-E-S-T, vestments. There we go, close vestments. So that's good. Um, we don't have to leave that as clothes. We already know vestments are clothes, but if you don't, you can have that. We also have common clothes. So let's do C-L-O-T-H-E-S. And there's some common clothes. So this is probably like our, our robe. Is it, did it not list that one? Vestments, I don't think I dragged it right. Uh, da, 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 common clothes, there we go. Uh, let's see what else we got and a belt pouch containing 15 gold so instead of putting 15 gold up there we just want to put the gold down here saying 15 but we probably want to keep a pouch as an item on us let's see if there is a pouch P -O -U -C -H. and there sure enough there is so we're gonna say here's a pouch and I keep dragging it way down here which is I think why it's not doing it so if we do it there there's our pouch um, so we could actually maybe have this like on a belt or nah, we'll just call the pouch like so. <clears throat> so, um, that, that's your pouch. Uh, let's see. So that is everything equipment wise that you get as an alakite. Let's go ahead and check out the cleric. So as in a cleric, now we can have a mace or a war hammer if proficient. So if we're not proficient with um, whatever the war hammer is, and we can actually click here and see better the items. So if we go war hammer, do 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 to war pick war hammer. 
which actually I can't really tell in this one because I just sorted it. So I can't tell. Actually, I bet you I can if I go war, war hammer. There we go. So if we go here, maybe this will tell us it's a martial weapon. So I would not be proficient with that. So I probably don't want that. So we probably want a mace. So let's go ahead and do M-A-C-E. And here we have a mace. Let's go ahead and sort this only by our player's handbook. So here's our mace. We'll go ahead and do that. Now you'll notice with the mace, it automatically added it as an equipped item. And if we go to actions, you can actually see we have actionable stuff we can do with said mace. So let's go back to inventory. I think this is as far as we're going to get as these guys. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and shrink you down a little more. So we get scale mail, leather armor, or chain mail. So here's one thing. So if we did um, leather armor, it would use our bonus here of plus three. So if we go to armors real quick, if we look at leather armor, you'll see that it has an AC of 11 plus three so it gives us 14 right so it's better than just us without anything because you get a base 10 uh, and then that plus three so that would give us uh, that would give us 14 our other option would be chain mail which I don't think we're proficient did it say heavy oh yeah we're proficient in heavy armor so we could actually do chain mail uh, if we come down here I think it's considered chain shirt, chain, I think it's heavy armor. So we come down to heavy armor under chain mail. Now with this, you'll see it gives us a 16. We have to at least have a strength of 13 in order to wear it. So we do not have it and it would give us disadvantage in stealth. So even though we technically are um, able to we're proficient with chainmail. We don't have the the strength to actually carry it, but it would have gave us a 16. Uh, so we can't do that. So let's go look at scale mail, which I think might be medium armor. Oh nope, actually it's up here. Scale mail, and I don't want any of these plus ones. I just want plain old scale mail. So this gives us a 14. Still gives us disadvantage. And it only lets us use two of our, our, so what this would do is we get two of these, we get disadvantage when we try and stealth, but we, we um, go 14, 15, 16. So it would still give us 16 uh, and we would be at disadvantage. So that's not too bad. I think I'm just gonna do leather and maybe what we'll do is upgrade to studded leather. Although technically we don't have the money for that. So let's just do leather, I guess. So come up here, leather right here. So we'll drag that on to, we need to go into inventory, I believe. And now you'll see when we come back into our main, it's now upgraded to 14 because it knows we can wear that. So it's all right, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. Um, so that's what we have. We can have a light crossbow and 20 bolts. Uh, if we have bolts, that probably means we have some kind of quiver or a simple weapon. I think we want that. Let's go ahead and do a uh, C-R-O-S-S -S crossbow. Uh, it's a light crossbow. So we'll go ahead and drag that in here. So there's a light crossbow. And then we need the bolts, and it says 20, so B-O-L-T-S. And you'll see there's 20 crossbow bolts. Perfect. And once again, this is maybe where, if I want it to look really nice and organized, I would stick a quiver in here. Q-U-I-V-E-R, like so. We'll go ahead and uh, highlight that. Do Control-C. Uh, then we can close this back out and click somewhere, and it goes away. Uh, and then maybe put the location of our bolts in a quiver. Actually, I wonder if there is a quiver. Q-U-I-V-E-R. There is a quiver. I could have just used that. Now, my quiver apparently is one pound. 
In fact, let's let's do it the right way. So it's always a good idea to kind of check what is available. So we could actually do this and it should fix it, but it actually adjusts it properly. Uh, so there's that. And then finally we can have a priest pack, an explorer pack, a shield, which will give us a plus two, which is good, and a holy symbol, which we already have a holy symbol, right, from our necklace. So that'll be our holy symbol. Well, I guess we could have two if we really wanted. Uh, and then the priest pack. So if we do here and go to pack, yes, okay. So you'll see here we have all these different ones. If we want to look at, was it Explorer or Dungeon? It's Explorer. So if we want to see what's in the Explorer's pack, we can just click on that. We can see it has a backpack or an empty backpack, a bedroll, a mess kit, tinderbox, 10 torches, 10 days rations, a water skin, 50 feet of hemp and rope strapped to the side. So it has on the side of it rope. It does have a bedroll too, which would probably be on the backpack. Uh, the priest pack in the has a blanket, so it doesn't have a bedroll. It has a blanket, ten candles, a tinder box, an alms box, two blocks of incense, a censer, vestments, and two days rations. Two days of rations. I think I want this other one because it gave us ten days. So if we do that, did I do it in the right spot? Do we get a backpack? It doesn't look like it. I think you have to drag it up into this equipment area, apparently. Because I, I think if I drag it into the money, it doesn't like it. Or maybe I'm dragging it on top of one of those and it doesn't like it. So now you can see we have all that stuff. So what I like to do is actually create one called Backpack. Control-C. Add one more. And we can call it Backpack also. But then I'm going to say on, to say this is on the backpack. Oh, we're out of time. But that's okay because we're, we're pretty much done. So now if we want to organize our stuff, we could say, okay, here's our backpack, right? Whoops, here's our, whoops, I just copied it. Oopsie. All right, so if we do this. You see, so the bedroll is on the backpack, clothes are in the backpack, so we could do V there, crossbows on our back more, incense sticks will be in the backpack, our armor is on us, uh, our mace is on us, our mess kit's probably in the backpack, uh, the pouch we carry, we could say it's on a belt, or let's put it in the backpack, it'll be safer there, uh, our quiver's on us, the rations we have, one day's rations, that said it was on the backpack, the tinderbox, the torches probably would be on the backpack as well, I would think. And then if we do that, click off. If we hit enter, once again, it'll create a new line. If we just click off of it, then it will actually uh, work the way we want. So now we'll do on the backpack. Let's do C. Our bedrolls on the backpack. Um, our torches on the backpack. Is that it? This was not on the backpack. Our water skin could be in the backpack. Oh, see, I just hit enter. Mm -mm. Is that everything? Oh, and the rope. The rope was on the backpack. So V. I don't hit enter. Just click off of it. So now if we go look, we'll see backpack. This is stuff in it. This is the, what's on the backpack. We could also say belt and put the pouch on our belt. If we had daggers, we could bat daggers in our belt. This is completely optional as far as what you do here. So uh, this pretty much concludes this part. Uh, you can see we're still under the maximum weight we can carry. And we've got these things kind of sorted. So we probably should have added a weight to some of these other things. Like this is part of the backpack, so that doesn't matter. Our crossbow um, on our person, that's a, a thing. The quiver. Actually, no, I don't think we need to add any weights. So there we go. That takes care of basically the abilities. Well, there's going to be more in abilities when we get to actions. So in the next episode, we will probably do notes and begin actions. Maybe finish actions. I'm not sure. But that's where we're going to talk about the Rob Tui stuff. Oh, wait. I don't think we're totally done, are we? 
Uh, priest pack, shield. Oh, no, we need a shield. Let's go get a shield, man. We want a shield. S-H-I-E-L-D. And enter. I forgot about the shield. And we already have a holy symbol, so let's go ahead and put that up there. And the shield is on us. As you can see, it's equipped. Now, the shield is also going to give us another plus two. So guess what? We just hit that plus 16 that uh, the heavier armor was going to give us, the chain mail. However, if we had our, uh, if we would have that chain mail and the shield, it would actually put us to 18. That's okay. We don't need that. All right. So I think it doesn't say we have any special tools or anything. So I think that takes care of that. And um, yeah. So we've covered the main part. We've talked about skills and how to add your own. We've talked about abilities, the languages, <clears throat> and that fun stuff. And we've talked about our inventory and treasures and encumbrance and how to add custom things and sort them so that they look nice in your inventory. You know that all this is in your backpack, on your backpack. Uh, yeah, those are on the backpack. On your person, I guess the crossbow and stuff they could be like on your back i don't know you put them wherever you want leather you're just wearing the mace yeah i want to check one thing on the mace make sure it's not two-handed okay it doesn't say two-handed so we are good and you'll also notice in the actions tab it automatically added our crossbow um we do have 20 bolts technically we will talk about that later and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget about the great big game giveaway. When I hit 1,000 subs, I am giving away 57 Steam games. That averages out to be one out of every 20 subs will get a Steam game. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. That is really good odds. So uh, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.